Hey guys, it's Jill. Happy Thanksgiving! Today we are going to be making crock pot hot chocolate and it is delicious. This is not just perfect for Thanksgiving, but perfect for any holiday parties that you have coming up or Christmas. I know I made this last year for Christmas and everyone gobbled it up. It was delicious. It is. Honestly, like when you make this, you're never going to want to go back to making the little hot chocolate out of the little packets. So what we're going to need for this is obviously a crock pot. You're going to need six cups of whole milk. Don't skimp on any of these ingredients because this is what's going to make it all delicious. It is very, it's going to be high in fat, high in calories, but it's the holidays. We're going to do one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. You need a, what is this, 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. You're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla or vanilla extract. And then two cups of chocolate chips. Okay, so starting with six cups of whole milk, there's two. Oh, it's flashing. Yeah. There's four. And here comes six. There's six. Okay, and then we need the sweetened condensed milk. It doesn't matter what order you put this in, by the way. All right, sweetened condensed milk. Look at that. Oh my Whoa. gosh, it's so delicious. All right, one and a half cups of heavy, heavy whipping cream. It's almost the whole container, but not quite. Then you want, I'm just gonna splash in some vanilla. It said a teaspoon. If I can get this thing open, splash some in there. And then you want two cups of chocolate chips. I'm gonna see everywhere. Basically, it's a whole container. It's a whole. Woo! Don't <laughs> splash it everywhere. It's a whole 12 ounce pack of the. Um, Chocolate chips will be two cups. Then you just turn this baby on high. And you stir. May I stir? I don't want to stir it. You want? You can add some nutmeg in here. I bet that would be really good too, or some cinnamon. So you want to cover it, set it on high for two hours, and then we will show you what it's going to look like in two hours. Okay, so after two hours, this is what your hot chocolate's gonna look like. Your chocolate has melted, and it is just creamy and delicious. Now what I like to do is, I'm not like super fancy when it comes to like building like hot chocolate bars or coffee bars or whatever, but this is what we like in our hot chocolate. Um, peppermint mocha creamer. I've got some whipped cream, and then to put on the whipped cream, I've got some sprinkles. And these are the cups. So I will just ladle some into a cup. And I will just, I needed some smaller ones of these. Hold on, let me get a mug. Some whipped cream in there. And then top it off with some sprinkles. Yeah. And of course these sprinkles don't want to come out. <laughs> but I don't want them like here. I don't want to large them out. Because it is sweet, so. And there you go. There is your hot chocolate. Have some? So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, happy Thanksgiving from our family to yours. And the holidays, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys make this and how your family likes it as well. And we will talk to you guys later. See you in the next one. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. What you think, Ava? Good. I love the whipped cream. <laughs>